Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be uh, doing a witchy illustration and I'll be using uh, these Ecoline watercolors as you can see. I'll be using these. I do have a primary set of these colors. Uh, they are basically black, uh, like red, yellow, green, blue and black. So I'll be using these plate which I'm using is a ceramic uh, plate and yeah let's move on with the video so here I have actually uh, painted off the VG illustration here and I wanted to do this illustration using these inks because I was recently inspired by one of the one of the youtubers uh, she I actually came across a channel randomly uh, I saw one of her like sketchbook videos where she uh, does sketchbook tours and I really liked her video and so I was actually inspired uh, by her channel specifically and so I decided why not do a, like a witchy illustration because she does these sort of illustration and I really like the aesthetics of that illustration she does and it is high time I have not used like I it's long time since I've used like my inks uh, on a video so I just thought I should use it more often so here I am doing a, an illustration that I really like like and there are times when it happens so that you'll actually love someone's illustration and aesthetics and you'll, you'll feel like drawing that and I actually wanted to do this whole of illustration in raw umber color so here I am uh, trying to make a raw umber uh, I have just mixed a little bit of black yellow and a little bit of red I don't know why it's turning into a little bit of green color but I really like the vibe of it so let's see how it goes and the best part about this uh, these inks are that uh, you'll these actually give you a very nice flat wash uh, especially uh, because these are watercolor inks uh, dye based inks basically yeah they say they are liquid watercolors so let's see how well it performs so I'll be doing two illustrations here is one and let's just do the other one I'll be do doing this one a bit differently. So I'll be using thinner brush for this. A smaller brush most probably. And I keep all of my thin brushes here as you can see. I did not have to take them out. So these are all of my thin brushes. Zero most of them are round brushes so yeah of different brands and zero size and you can see the bristles there so let's let's give them a try and, and this one I'll be doing in black so let's see how well can I do for this illustration I really like the vibe of her illustrations. I really like it. If you don't know, uh, you know whose channel I'm talking about, I'll be leaving a link down below. You can check her channel out. She does really amazing uh, artwork. Uh, on her Instagram channel, uh, I have watched her uh, like a sketchbook tour, and that is what inspired me. So, yeah. Her name is Ashton Alexandra. I think you should definitely check her channel out. Uh, she is my current favorite uh, artist, you can say. 
sort of keep changing but currently she is my favorite so like her artwork is something really which i really comment on and yeah there are times when you really like watching or seeing someone someone's illustration i don't know if people like my illustration or not but i actually like other people's illustration a lot so it's not bad if you want to share someone's youtube channel or if you feel like you like their channel i think you should uh definitely mention them in your channel because uh from that people might benefit or be benefited by that so yeah i think you should do that when you like someone's channel do mention them just like the way i i i really appreciate her art and i and i genuinely want to mention her because she is the inspiration behind uh, this these illustrations the, the illustration the video which i am doing today so so cheers to her and yeah I'll just zoom in to what i am doing so that you will have a better idea sometimes really like using ink and doing these illustrations with ink is something which i really like and uh, i just just like doing it using ink so let me just finish this off using uh, using all of my pens which i have which i really like using are especially these tombow brush pens the soft tip and the hard tip i i really like using them so let's just move on with that part of illustration where you i don't know why sometimes uh, i don't know if this happens with you guys or not but sometimes i tend to do illustrations better offline like when i'm not recording this thing happens with me a lot so i don't know if you guys face sort some this sort of problem i sometimes tend to mess up things a lot Just now I actually dropped you can see here water here that is what I don't really like can thin lines work sometimes when you are really um, free with this these pens these pens really work well if you don't push it really hard so that is my one tip if you are working with brush pens just work really lightly with it because it might tend to Like you might feel like you are making a blunder, 
so just let it be and let this pen do its job whenever you are working with this and yeah just don't worry about your lines getting smudged because you just have to work with everything and yeah so i really like using brushes pens and and the paper which i'm using here is a watercolor paper so doesn't really bothers me as like, i like having fun with the colors which i use so you just don't stress while you are drawing something you just have to go along with the flow of whatever you are drawing if you stress on little things you might tend to like uh, you will actually make blunders so just let your sketches speak for yourself and yesterday i was planning on doing this like i was not planning on doing this in a video i was just enjoying the whole process of illustrating but then uh i lost my interest in doing it and i just thought why not make it into a a proper video so that along with me you guys can enjoy and watch me make uh something different something which i haven't done on my channel it's fun you should actually try doing something different uh, a different sort of artwork every time you draw because you never know what you might like or what you might come across and yeah that is my tip for everyone out there as an artist you should keep trying and look into new things and when you get your like favorite thing to do when you come to know that this is the thing which you really like then you can go on and uh, like do better in that particular field i really enjoy making uh, those uh, animal illustrations but it's not that i will always draw that because sometimes it might get monotonous even for me even if i am trying to excel myself into making like animal illustrations a lot i might get um sometimes bored of that so it's just a fresh it's just gives you a really nice way of refreshing yourself i'm just lightly using a an eraser to remove out pencil lines which are like visible and yeah i think i'm good to go moving on with the next part here let's see how well this thing turns out i'm not too sure in this part of the illustration because i actually have messed up this part and i'll be using raw umber from this palette i know which color is which because i have actually labeled off the colors It looks a bit yellowish. I know, but.
आठ लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस trying my best to mix up the colors here really well because sometimes when you tend to go in and color the colors tend to erase the lines which you used like which you've drawn initially and it becomes difficult for you to see and look at the lines properly so yeah it becomes hectic and irritating sometimes when you're not able to see what you've drawn and sketched out and yeah it becomes a mess at times Let's see how much I can do here. And I really wanted to do something really different, but I don't know how to do this now. I'm trying to give this illustration a sort of faded effect here. in the middle so let's just wait for this illustration to dry out and i'll just come back when it dries completely until then i'll just it's sometimes difficult you can see it's the lines underneath is not even visible so let's see what how much i can do so before moving on with other things i want to color off the leaves here some leaves which have drawn final piece and i hope you guys liked it and i really enjoyed the whole illustration and the vibe of both of these and i think i'll be doing more of these illustration these witchy illustrations in the future as and when i get some inks i will be trying out some acrylic inks let's see uh, when i get my hands on those so yeah that was my take on the witchy illustrations and i'll see you in my next video till then have a nice day and i hope you guys uh, like every detail of it because i really like working with the, these sort of illustration and yeah i'll be looking forward to making these witchy stuff more and do let me know in the comment section below if you liked it or not and yeah watching and i'll see you in my next video till then have a nice day and sayonara